All right, you guys, so we're headed to the mall. I'm gonna go to the mall after going to the immigration and going through all that. They flagged me down another tuk-tuk at the hotel. So it's about 3.8 kilometers, which is half the distance to the other place. And because this is a route-based service, it's only 50 baht. Isn't that crazy? So the other place is kind of out of the way, and so you're gonna pay a lot more for that. So anytime you need to go any place other than the normal routes, rent a scooter, okay? That's my best advice. Because you're gonna pay two to 300. You're gonna have it for the whole day we're here. You're paying a lot to go from one place to the other that's off the beat path. So that's my best advice to you guys. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey. So I'm gonna check out this mall. I'm trying to upgrade my phone to some point. I don't want to spend the big money, but I really want to upgrade. This phone has audio issues like now. Without having an external microphone plugged in, the audio cuts in and out. And sometimes I don't have my gimbal set up and I just want to do a bunch of handheld clips like I'm doing now. And I can't do it with bad audio. And so I've been wanting to upgrade phones and that's kind of my primary reason. So that's what we're, what we're about. So we're basically going on the same darn road that that guy dropped me off by. Not very far from there, so. <laughs> crazy day, man, just a crazy day. I've been down this way earlier, where that guy kind of dropped me off and said, see ya. But I didn't know the mall was down here. I didn't know there was another mall until I went back to the hotel. So it's quite a learning experience. I asked if there was a big mall and they told me the mall by my hotel was the only mall. And then I find out later today that there's a bigger mall. So sometimes things just get really lost in the translations and they don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this these countries where the languages are so different and not many people know English, it's a real, real challenge. So there's things I like about Thailand that are different from the Philippines, but that language barrier kills me every time. It just kills me. So unless you're willing to invest to learn another language, it's best to find a place that has some language that you speak. Otherwise, you're gonna pull your hair out and just wanna take your own transportation and not deal with the confrontations that come with having to communicate with people because there are gonna be some, whether you like it or not. So I'll show you Surat Thani as we are going through it. Look at how busy this is compared to the other places I've been. This town is happening, you guys. There is life. Places seem open. Looks like a nice river park. We'll have to check that out later. It's like a boat dock there also. All right, you guys, so we're here at their big mall called the Central Plaza. And I'm gonna go in here and check it out and see what's in here. The new iPhones come out. This month, I believe in September, so this should be on sale. Looks like they have a little food market outside here. That's kind of cool. We'll show you the little market just outside the mall. So you don't have to get mall food. You can come out here and eat, so that's kind of cool. So let's go inside, you guys. I'm not gonna do a full mall tour, but I want you to see how nice this entrance looked. Very impressive. And guess what? They have a Starbucks. If you're a coffee person, eat your heart out. Starbucks is your place. Look at this place. Beautiful mall. Look at this. It's got a BMW dealership in here. Look at that. This is a nice mall, you guys. Very nice place. 
All right, guys, I'm here buying some new shoes. I bought some shoes when I was in Turkey back in, I want to say, January. And you can see the shoes are starting to come apart in the front. And these were good for a while. They lasted me, but the support on the shoes does not last for very long. So, you know, seven, eight months, they're done. They're toast. So I'm here at Skechers at the mall in Surat Thani. And they have some great art support shoes. I'll show you. I just I bought a pair of shoes for a good price, about sixty bucks. They're arch support. I'll show you the other side here. By Skecher, and I highly recommend these, you guys. It's a really good shoe for the money, and they feel really good. I'm excited to wear these and see how my feet feel for the next few days. So now, if you suffer with runner's foot like I do, always get a pair of sandals or slippers that you can walk and when you're at your house because you don't want to walk on the flat ground if you're suffering from foot issues you want to try to be supportive that will help take away some of the pain so i'll show you some of the other arch support shoes they have and then we'll hit the road so you want to look for these shoes that say arch fit Okay, that'll give you a little bit extra support when you're out and about. They have a few different models. This is the model that I bought today. And up here, this is their billboard for arch support. When you're at the mall, this is the place, the Skechers store in Sarathani in the very large mall. 